I'm going back to 505 If it's a 7 hour flight or a 45 minute drive In my imagination you're waiting lying on your side With your hands between your thighs Stop and wait a sec Oh, when you look at me like that, my darling, what did you expect? I probably still adore you with your hands around my neck Or I did last time I checked Hey, how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out 505 by the Arctic Monkeys. Incredible band, definitely one of the best bands the last few decades. Uh, and this is a really cool tune. It's only really two chords all of the way through, which would be a D minor and an E minor. Uh, of course, the, the original track has a lot of effects and really cool guitar textures going on on different layers. So I'm kind of simplifying it a little bit, but uh, it's, it's just a lovely song to play along with you if you're a beginner and you're just learning your E minor and D minor chords, being able to play along with the riff and stuff is kind of cool fun. So um, basically what you're going to be doing is doing a, a, a strum on your D minor chord. Now um, if you're struggling with D minor, a lot, of, a lot of people struggle with D minor, I did when I first learned it. Uh, one trick that you might like to try is instead of using fingers 1, 2 and 3 is to change finger 3 for finger 4, okay? So you're using 2nd finger, 4th finger and then 1st finger, okay? Uh, and in this particular tune, um, it doesn't really matter if you play the 5th string, in fact it can sound kind of cool to do that. So the only one that you really don't want to hit there for the D minor chord is the thickest string. That one doesn't sound so good, but you don't have to be so careful about playing just the thinnest four strings. In this particular tune, playing the A string as well kind of makes it sound a little bit meatier. Um, great song to play about with effects as well. If you've got some effects and tremolo or whatever, uh, you know, digital delays, a bit of over the top reverb, that kind of thing. Have a bit of a play around yourself because it uh, might bring the song to life for you if you're playing it by yourself. Um, so anyway, we're going to strum the D minor chord and it's held for two bars. The tempo is quite fast though, so it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, to E minor, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, back to D minor. One, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, one, two. I'm going D minor 505. If it's an E minor hour flight or a 4D minor minute drive. In E minor's imagination, you're waiting, D minoring on your side. With your E minor between your thighs. And it's just, it stays like that for quite a while, okay, into the next verse with this just a nice spread out chord. Um, I was strumming quite firmly on the beat there, but you can also like do it a little bit slower as well. And, and if you pick close back to the bridge as well, you get this, get a very, compared to normal, get a quite a different texture there which can sound kind of nice for that kind of big spread out chord, especially if you're going for the little bit of reverb and tremolo and that kind of effecty sort of stuff. I think that's quite a good trick. Now, uh, if you're playing it on your own, the one thing that you want to be able to do is kind of build the song a little bit. Um, and of course, later in the song, it kind of gets pretty rocky. Um, if you are trying to, if you're doing it in a band or whatever, and you're trying to make it rock out, you probably want to be using D minor bar chord and E minor bar chord for the bit at the end where it's doing the but I'm going to show it to you as well using the open chords for you guys that are beginners. Um, feel free to just kind of do whatever rhythm patterns you like when it gets heavy because there's quite a few layers going on on the original recording. So don't feel you have to do this one I'm about to show you. You might want to try just Old Faithful and doing down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down to E minor. You could do that if you want or even simpler. You know, do, do what you can, especially the first part of the song is just the single strum, which is nice and simple. You don't want to kind of get yourself into a bit of a muddle, you know, so you, this is a great tuner to grow it. It can grow with you as you develop as a guitar player, so you can start just real simple, and as you learn about, you know, more interesting or more complicated rhythms or more difficult rhythms, you can start to apply those to this tune. As you learn about bar chords, you can start incorporating those as well, and even beyond that, when you start learning about different ways of playing bar chords, then you can start putting them into layers and stuff using a looper pedal 
pedal. There's so many different avenues for this song that make it sort of, you know, a really cool one to check out. Um, what I did for the verse, for, for the verse one after the chorus, because it starts with the chorus, a little bit unusual. In the first verse, I was doing a strum and then just doing little picks. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. And so I'm doing one, and two, and three, and four, and all down strums, but on the beat, I'm doing the big strum. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Okay, so where the chord's happening is a big strum, and then I'm just doing little down strums, just to kind of give it a little bit of... It's kind of picking it up and it's sensing a bit more of the energy than if you're just doing the big strum, you're not really feeling that extra movement, but as soon as you... having that extra rhythmic division there that makes it feel, oh yeah, it's kind of makes it a bit more darker and it's got a lot more energy straight away. So let's have a look at a rhythm pattern which is a little bit more like the one on the actual recording later in the song when it gets a bit heavier. Uh, you can do it with open chords or with bar chords, doesn't really matter, or other you know power chords if you want to get into doing that later on and trying out different chord shapes. Uh, but the basic pattern you're going to do down, down, mute. And with the mute there, you're just going to use the outside part of your hand there to touch on all the strings so you get that kind of little uh, silence, the little mute there. One and two and three three and four and. Okay, so we got these two down strums, then mute, then three strums, then another three strums, the and after four and one and again, two and three and four and. So it's a two bar sequence, the last part is all down strums. I'll do that whole two bar sequence now. One and two and three and four and 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 so you want to practice that nice and slow first make sure you got it you really know where the little mute is and then start to speed it up I think it's kind of a more of a bar chordy kind of a thing on the original, but you can do it lots of different ways. And the beautiful thing with these kind of tunes is that you can make them your own, try out different ways yourself. It's nothing particularly difficult, which is great because it kind of gives you lots of freedom to explore different sounds, different ways of playing the chords and that sort of stuff. So I really hope you enjoy playing this song. See you for plenty more lessons and more songs very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye.